As the conflict in northeast Syria came to a ceasefire brokered by the U.S., countries involved are discussing next steps in mitigating the situation. Speaking at a joint news conference with German Foreign Minister Heiko Maas, Turkish counterpart Kavusoglu stated that Turkey does not find the German proposal on an international safe zone realistic. The issue of establishing a military zone in this area is not something Turkey can respond to on its own, but it is not realistic either. Now you have the Syrian regime in this area coming to the upper parts. You have Russia and other actors. Therefore, we don't find this proposal realistic after this point. Now we think it will be more useful if we focus on clearing this zone from terror, as well as the return of people and make an effort together on humanitarian issues. Ankara hopes to secure a safe zone along 440 kilometers of the border with Syria. On Tuesday, Turkey agreed with Russia on steps, removing Kurdish forces 30 kilometers from the border, jointly patrolling 10 kilometers of the area, proving to be a major upset to NATO. Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan threatened once again to open the gates for refugees to Europe if Ankara's plan isn't supported. Çin'de if the terrorist organization continues to carry out its attack from inside or outside the 30-kilometer-long strip, we will chase them to wherever they flee, and we will do whatever is necessary. Likewise, if they don't support the projects we have developed for the return of one or two million Syrian refugees, at first stage out of the 3,600,000 Syrians living in our country, we have no choice but to open our gates and let them march to Europe. People in Turkey have been targeted by water cannons and tear gas while trying to protest this month against Turkey's offensive. The incursion has deepened a sense of alienation in Turkey's mainly Kurdish southeast. Dozens of people have been arrested and mayors ousted in anti-terrorism investigations since the operation began. Kurds who voted for the AK party and other parties share the same feelings. They definitely don't approve the policies of slaughter and annihilation there against our people. Even those people who were seated in front of this party's headquarters cannot save them. The Russian Defense Ministry stated that around 300 more Russian military police have arrived in Syria on October 25th, under the agreement between Ankara and Moscow, seizing Turkey's military incursion in Syria.